Hey guys, uh, Foolish Mortal back. Uh, well, actually I'm not back. This is going to be a new, uh, not technically a, a Let's Play. Uh, more like a semi-tutorial, I guess, on uh, low-level tanking. Um, as you can see, this is my fully um, um, heirloomed out pally tank um, Donegar. Um so he's got the helm, um, I got the, uh, the neck item, uh, and I went with Valor, uh, because, um, Paladins really don't use haste that much. I think I do have one piece that might have haste on it. Um, well, that's got some haste. That's got some haste. Uh, but both of the helms have haste, so it's not like I can choose between that. So you definitely want to go with stamina trinkets, um, <clears throat> And that's got haste on it, but that's okay. Um, and I went with the Thrash Blade, even though I did, uh, I modified that to a Platinum Sword that you get from a quest in um, Oldman, uh, because I just, I really like that. It's kind of a chopper. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, Shield of Marauding that uh, you get from the quest to kill a uh, princess. So anyway, uh, <coughs> I have an embarrassing low... Uh, wrist piece but you know the rest of it's not too bad but this stuff you know your heirlooms kind of level up with you so it's it's not too bad <clears throat> so uh leveling up as a pally tank is really straightforward um we'll go on and uh just uh queue for a random uh the queues especially on weekends are almost instant so you go through really, really fast. Um, I'm not going to give probably any tips for a specific dungeon. Uh, oh, well, we're already mid, uh, mid dungeon here. So uh, always throw your blessing on. Uh, I've already done this, so we don't have... Oh, gosh, I hate this room. Um... To kill these big things, you have to, um, like, uh, drag stuff over here to them, I guess, and, um, kill stuff around them. I'm not sure how it actually does work, but... <clears throat> Alright, uh, I usually just pass on all this stuff. I don't care. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, as a, uh, a paladin, I mean, you just, um, Uh, pally tanking is probably like the easiest thing to do, uh, especially in low level areas. Um, there we go, oh, we got another level. Did you forget, girl? I am the dark master. I command the undead. I won't let you. <clears throat> so I'm not going to get into the uh, the lore of what's going on here. Um, after this run, I'll uh, actually sit down and kind of uh, show what's going on. Oop, that was the wrong button. Oh, no, Lillian, don't! So I don't even have really a threat meter. Uh, I, I have a very, very basic. Um, the bones. Strength, stamina, dodge. Strength, stamina, crit, and haste. Uh, I'll greet on them. They do look kind of cool, though. Oh well. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> that would be extremely mean, but... <clears throat> but 
but I'll play this, uh, I'll do this dungeon, um, and then, uh, I'll take us to a, um, a, um, oh, I, uh, ah, crap, my brain just kind of died on me, um, Um, a combat dummy. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I did it. <clears throat> now, if there's somebody that needs the um, the book thing, it's it's up here. So, because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna run up here and uh, grab that. Try not to stand into AOE type stuff. <clears throat> but basically, um, heli tanks make really good AOE tanks and single target tanks. Um, And, um, but it is pretty straightforward, um, I mean, uh, knowing, knowing the fight itself is more important than really anything else, so. <clears throat> but if you're, uh, if you're single target tanking, um, you want to use your, uh, judgment, or uh, Avenger Shield to pull with, because uh, those are like your big initial uh, well but if you're using um, say you, you kind of will burn through your uh, cooldowns really fast so See, everything's kind of got a, uh, a long cooldown on it, so. Plate shoulders. Male gloves. I'll greet on them. Uh, and the, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, and that's, uh, that is basic, basically pally tanking in a nutshell, so. <clears throat> So we level, did we get to level 40? Yeah, we got level 40. We're actually, what, 41 now? 43, wow. Uh, so we burned through quite a bit of rested already. Um, so we're going to go over here to the combat dummies. And um, I'm going to kind of show you the rotation that I use. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and of course, again, uh, learning, learning the fights, doing research, especially in raids... That's really what is going to get you um, to do uh, like a really good. Um... Oh, I didn't know the riding trainer was back here too. Uh, it's 85, 85. Yeah, the 60 ones are back here. Uh, all right. So when uh, <clears throat> when you're doing, let's let's assume that this is a boss. Okay, and this is just a single target. Um, uh, oh, wow, I don't even have... Um, judgment. Increasing judgment range is pretty good. Um, I mean, it's already got a 30 range, um, but everything else is 30. So, I don't know. Um, dazing a target is really good. So let's put that on there. And I don't have any minor glyphs learned yet. So, <clears throat> so you, uh, let's say you walk into the room and the boss is there and it's pretty much a tank and spank, basically no special abilities or anything like that. You're going to throw your Avenger shield and that's going to bounce. And it also silences the target and it now stuns. So that's good. If it's a single target, you're immediately going to do either a judgment 
or Crusader Strike. Both of these are really good for gaining aggro. Now my uh, threat meter isn't going to range, isn't going to pop up here because there's nobody else attacking that. <clears throat> but uh, that's pretty much, you, you bounce back and forth on those, you build up your holy power, when that hits three, you throw your shield of righteousness on them. That causes holy damage, um, and uh, that also um, reduces the physical damage that I take, and uh, and then your Bastion of Glory proc. So, <clears throat> so that's actually really good for like self healing stuff like that. So you kind of just bounce back and forth between that your Holy Shield when it's on cooldown, and then Holy Wrath and then Consecration. And you basically, all of those while on cooldown. The only thing that you switch is if you're pulling trash and you've got like a big group or if the boss has adds, you'll switch from Crusader Strike to Hammer of Righteousness, which is an area of effect. Uh, it doesn't do uh, quite as much damage, but it's a bigger area. <clears throat> and then you just keep doing that. And I picked up on my Glyph or not my glyph, but my talent, uh, Pursuit of Justice, which is like a straight up 15% run speed increase, and then 5% per holy power, up to 3. So, I mean, that's just good for like uh, pulling and going to a mob. And then I got Blinding Light. Excuse me. Uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't cause any damage. <clears throat> but it blinds targets and disorients them for six seconds <clears throat> and it, that's not broken uh, by damage so um, but you will auto like I guess it does uh, yeah any kind of um, impairing effect like, I guess it kind of stops you from uh, stops your auto attack so uh, <clears throat> so that's that's pretty much all that you do uh, there's a lot of utility stuff um, reckoning uh, taunts the target to attack you and increases threat <clears throat> if you're a little lower level or if you're in a group with a lot of heirloom type people that like to nuke like way early uh, that might be what you want to pull with like and get that initial threat like pull wait hit that which doesn't actually, um, it's not on a cooldown with anything. So you could actually link that with uh, like an Avenger Shield uh, macro, <clears throat> which would actually be really good. Um, so it would do uh, Reckoning and Avenger Shield every time your Avenger Shield came up. And if that was on off cooldown, it would use that. So that's that would be a great way to build up huge amounts of threat without really even having to do very much. Um, that's my clickable thing. Um, the reason I picked a dwarf was stone form. Um, that's a two minute cooldown that basically drops physical damage taken by 10%. It really is really nice. Uh, it stacks with, um, um, mm, I think it stacks with just about everything. Like this is, uh, lowers magical damage taken by 40 um, all damage by 50%, but I think this one drops your threat completely. Uh, so what you want to do, like if you have to use that, if you're getting like really low, uh, or, you know, you just feel like, you know, your healer's not going to get you, you know, tap that and then hit your reckoning and do something else. So, uh, cleanse, eh, you know, you can kind of cleanse yourself if you need to, um, Lay on hands, always nice to keep that in mind. That's a self full heal. Um, and you always want to keep Righteous Fury on. Like, once you click it on, it's on continuously, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, uh, let's see, Resolve. Yeah, that's my. Uh, I think that's. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm getting that resolve from, but <clears throat> but it's it's good to have if you've got uh, if you've got that. Um, see what else? 
that's your um, single target stun uh, it's a 10 yard range it's not too bad uh, if you can fit your hammer of wrath in later on um, I mean stuff just dies so quickly now in uh, like the level of dungeons that I'm in I don't really get a chance to, to hit that um, it's just like a finishing move it, it works pretty good uh, a spell interrupt that's always pretty handy um, so like if you've got if you're fighting a spellcaster boss um, your Avenger shield is a silence and then you've also got this interrupt and I've got blinding light which will actually sometimes will affect it but not always so um, and I always uh, I actually always keep seal of insight up which is uh, a heal on attack and uh, and actually the healing that you do actually will uh, cause some threat as well so it's a different way of gaining threat um, <clears throat> I mean seal righteousness is okay 27 holy damage in an area of effect <clears throat> if you're constantly pulling large groups eh, it, it's okay but you're not your main weapon really isn't there to do a lot of damage <clears throat> even though the thrash blade is kind of nice but anyway uh, but yeah that's that's kind of my tutorial on um, early pally tanking um, and again the uh, the main thing is to know the fights that you're gonna be in let's see I don't want to do skull mats again um, oh wait I got a I got a bag let's see uh, yeah that's the thing about those bags they're kind of random so and I always keep a uh, a tabard on you know just to kind of work those reputations out a little bit so. uh, <clears throat> but basically on this character what I've done is I loaded him up on heirlooms and I quested till level 15 and then I have only done dungeons and I'll get a level or two each dungeon run uh, so in an afternoon of um, Lou Strathome, yeah, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, in an afternoon, you know, you can run seven or eight dungeons, and you can get through ten or twelve levels really, really fast. Um, and you don't really have to worry with, uh, you know, um, item or gear that much. Uh, you know, there's there's a few slots that you uh, kind of want to keep an eye on. I wonder what those look like. Hmm. No. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's uh, this has been uh, Foolish Mortal on a kind of a semi-short tutorial on pally tanking. Uh, I'll probably grab a couple more levels, and um, but I mean that's pretty much going to be your core um, abilities until um, way on up there. Uh, Let's see, what do we get? Heart of the Crusader at 44. That's a mount increase. That doesn't do anything. <clears throat> An undead demon um, stun. Uh, your hand of protections. Those are, you know, like, uh, I don't really have time to cast those too much on. Because uh, if you're, if a clothie's getting hit by something, they're going to die really fast. So, uh, Grand Crusader. Um, yeah, that's that's a passive. See, a lot of this stuff is like passive, you know. Um, but Grand Crusader, when that procs, then it finishes the cooldown on your Avenger shield, and you'll just like be able to kind of semi spam that. So, uh, yeah, see, and then the rest of this kind of comes really slow. Um, uh, so, but yeah. That's, uh, that's pally tanking. So, um, I, I hope that's been kind of informative to you guys. And, uh, again, I'll probably come back and uh, make some more videos here and there, uh, to kind of flesh this out a little bit. Uh, and until next time, uh, thanks again for watching.